Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. Today's video is going to be part two to the trying new makeup video that kind of came from the I broke my low buy makeup haul. If you missed that makeup haul, I'm going to have it linked in the eye down below. I definitely suggest you guys check that out because that's where I'm going to be mentioning everything that I purchased in the last couple of weeks and how much I spent on all of it. So I'm going to go ahead and mention that in that video. I already did. So you guys can definitely check out that one. But in today's video, we're going to be trying mostly Catrice products, but I'm also going to be kind of filling in the gaps with some of my other new makeup that I used in part one. I'm just going to be revisiting it today for part two because I did not buy a full face from Catrice. I did get quite a few products. So let's just jump into it. So right off the bat, I do have two foundations. I picked up two shades, but I'm only going to be in keeping one, I think. We'll see. But I picked up two because it is a little bit harder to get your hands on. I could not find anyone showing this shade 007 Cool Nude. I just really like a cool undertone. So I did go ahead and swatch them on my hand. Neither one of them look like they're going to be that good. So we're just going to have to see on the face, I think. So on this side is the 007 Cool Nude, and this side is the 004 um, Neutral Porcelain. So let's just see how it goes. Um, I'm hoping that one of these will work for me. I got these on sale. I essentially paid $8 for each one of these. And so it was cheaper for me to go ahead and just purchase the second one. And I will give whichever one I don't keep to someone in my family or a friend that is a skin color that will work better for it. I do know that this foundation can look a little bit drying on people. So I'm actually going to use the Pretty Fresh Primer because I don't have a new primer. But I just want to give it a fair shot, even though for starters, we're just kind of figuring out what shade I want. But whichever shade I end up wanting, I'm not going to be wiping that side off. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my whole face for foundation. I did actually pick up a brush from Catrice. This shape looked very interesting to me. It's called the Triangle Artist Foundation Brush, and it was actually on sale for just $3. I just picked up one of them, even though I've got two different foundation shades. So I think I'll start with this brush with the lighter one, which is 04 Neutral Porcelain. And I'll probably just use a different brush for the other side so that I don't accidentally mix the colors. So this brush is a triangle shape, and it's got like a little triangle cutout. So I'm actually just going to put a little bit of this, because I'm only doing half my face, into that cut like the cutout and I guess we'll put that on this side and see how that goes well that product went like into the brush uh all right <laughs> literally nothing is coming off I guess I just assumed since there's a little gap that you were supposed to put the product in there but I guess not so instead I'm just gonna put some on my finger because I don't want to waste even more product that was so strange and I'm just going to dot this onto my skin that actually seems like a decent shade match I, I will say it is looking slightly more yellow in the camera than it is in person just like by a hair so we'll see Okay, I feel like this actually is a pretty good shade match for me so far. The brush is nice. It's slightly strange, I guess, just because I'm not used to something like this. But the bristles are soft. It probably would have been better if I had washed it first so that it wouldn't shed, but that's okay. It's blending it out really nicely. So again, this is 004 Porcelain. And I feel like this is going to be a pretty good shade for me. It looks slightly yellow. In person, though, it really doesn't, which is so strange. Hmm, okay, let's go ahead and try 007 on this side, which again is called Cool Nude. Okay, so for this one, again, I'm just going to kind of dot it onto my skin. I'm wondering if this oxidizes because on my hand, it is, I feel like, way darker than what it looks like on my face. So let's we'll see how it looks when it kind of sets for a minute. And in my opinion, this really is not cool tone. I don't really know how they call that cool tone. Um, it does not look cool tone at all to me. 
it honestly looks really similar. Like, if I were to wear this out right now with it being half and half, I feel like you can't really tell that much of a difference. This one does look like it has more coverage. I think I added a little bit more on this side, so I'll add some more on the porcelain side, but uh, to me, this is just like not cool tone at all. I will go ahead and add a little bit more of that porcelain shade to this side of my face, try and make it a little bit more even. I'm gonna go back to that original brush as well. I feel like this brush just takes longer to blend it out, but it does a good job. Okay, I definitely expected to see a little bit more of a difference. I mean, if I'm being like really nitpicky, I guess you can tell this is maybe like half of a shade darker, but I don't know you guys, like in person. Does this look the same to you guys? I'm gonna go over everything with a damp sponge though. I was really hopeful actually. I'm gonna put up a picture of like the swatches. I was really hopeful that this side was gonna be like cool tone and I just don't feel like it is. The one thing that I did notice is that this side of my face looks like it has more coverage than this one. So I'm going to maybe use this brush on this side and just add like the slightest amount and see if it changes things. I'll still stick with the same color. And as it stands, I think I'm just going to go ahead and complete the face of makeup. Also, I just wiped it off, but this was like leaking from that. So I don't love that. Yeah, right after you wipe it off, some more leaks out. So that's not... Not good about that packaging. Let's see if the other one did it. Yep, already a mess. So I don't love that. I will say though, like it's sitting okay on my skin. Gotta press it into my nose, but it is actually sitting pretty well on my skin. Um, definitely I like the way it's sitting better than the Huda Beauty high coverage foundation. So it might be something where I could kind of like mix those two together. I'm just more likely to mix foundations than mix like a shade corrector into a foundation, if that makes sense. I don't have a new concealer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer because it's a more full coverage foundation. I wanna pair it with a full coverage concealer. I'm gonna bring this up onto the eyelid because I'm not planning to do any crazy eye look. I really do like how it's looking on the skin. I really like the coverage level and it's sitting very nicely on my skin. I don't have a powder from Catrice, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Bite Beauty one again. I did use this in part one of trying new makeup, but I figure if I don't have something from Catrice in a category, then it would be better to use one of the other new products just to give it another shot. Again, I don't have a bronzer to try from Catrice, so I'm gonna use this one from Spectrum that I used in part one as well. This was sent to me from Spectrum, but it is very new to my collection. Ooh, okay. I've never had this happen with one of my Spectrum brushes before. Can you hear this? Let's see if it does that. It's kind of wiggling, which I really don't like that. Uh, okay. When I'm like blending it, it's like making like a squeaking noise and it is wiggling just a little bit. That's the first time I've had that happen with a Spectrum brush, but that definitely doesn't feel very sturdy at all. So I'm not, not thrilled about that. It's like making like a pretty audible squeaking noise, which is just not really what I want to hear when I'm doing my makeup. Let's jump to highlight. We'll come back to blush. But I did pick up this highlight from Catrice. This is their More Than Glow highlighter in the shade Supreme Rose Beam. I'm so excited to try this highlight. Both Kelly Gooch and Emily from Emily's Makeup Bag really put this on my wish list, so I have very high hopes for it. I'm going to use a clean highlight brush because... We got to give it a fair shot. This is so pretty. Oh, I meant to take a picture of this. That's okay. I don't think I'll be able to tell that I've used it. Hopefully. Okay. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Oh, I really like that. I love 
this highlight. Holy cow, that's so pretty. Wow, love it. Okay, we're gonna need some nose highlight now. <laughs> I like hardly ever highlight my nose, but I just want to use this everywhere. I love it. It definitely has like a soft pink tint to it, but for my skin tone, it works, which like never happens. I feel like almost every time I've tried a pink highlight, it leaves some sort of like shadow on the skin. It looks like my skin is wet, does it not? I'm glad to like something. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and add my Hourglass Mood Exposure Blush. All right, for eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and use this little combo. This is the Ulta Beauty, what is this called? I Lie Like You A Lot Cream Eyeshadow and Liner. I'm gonna use that and then I'm also going to top it with the Ulta Beauty Bouncy Eyeshadow in the shade Buttercream. This thing is incredible. These are both new to me, but I did go ahead and dip into them. And I really like that single eyeshadow. This is kind of like a, it's just okay. Once you put it on, it will stay put. It is crazy. It actually was really difficult to even get off my hand when I swatched it. So I went back and got it because I was really impressed with that. But the actual process of like putting it on is not seamless. So I just want to mention that. But once you get it on the way that you like and it is in place, then it will not budge, which I do like that about it. And I'm going to pat it out with my finger. Kind of going to build it up. Yes, yeah, so you can see like as I pat it, it kind of picks up a lot of it, but I feel like you need to pat it out just to kind of like help it blend a little bit. So I don't know that this is a, a must have for me. I mean, I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna put a swatch right here on my hand and I'm just gonna draw it pretty good so you guys can see it. And I'll leave that there while I film. And hopefully at the end of this, I'll remember to show you that you like cannot make it budge. I also picked up this eyeliner from Hard Candy couple of days ago and it's in the shade wink wink i'm so obsessed with periwinkle everything right now i know it's like the color of the year my dog's name is periwinkle like i just i love it i want everything periwinkle um stay tuned if you want to see a very periwinkle video because that's coming to my channel soon <laughs> wink wink very on brand with this eyeliner so i actually want to go ahead and add this as my liner also, this is only $5. How amazing is that? And I guess I'll wing it out. Why not? I'm going to take an angled liner brush and kind of help me with the, the wing part. I'm going to kind of just blend it out. Okay, well, I just put this into the cap and the little tip of the entire liner fell off so that sucks i didn't do anything weird with it either i was just using it and it broke so all right so i'm actually just going to use some of this bronzer and try and add some to like the outer part of the crease see if that might help but i'm actually not liking the shadow stick at all uh, i don't know like once you put it on like i said it, it's not gonna budge but it's so sheer. It's like, how do I get it to actually look purple on the lid? I'm not really sure. Because it just doesn't. This is not the look I intended to create today. I know that much. Let's see if this has been on here long enough so that you guys can see. But, I mean, it stays on there, like, pretty dang good. And I'm not, not being really light with it either. It's still there like really, really good. So once you put it on, it stays really nicely, but I just don't know about this. The last time I used it, I put a shimmery purple on top. And so I guess that's why I thought it looked a little bit more purple on the lid, but I'm definitely just gonna say skip the shadow stick. I really, really don't like that. It's not just like a preference thing either. Like I think it's kind of bad. Like I think it's the product. Let's see if this can save the day because on the other hand, I really like this product. So like I said, this is the Bouncy Eyeshadow from Ulta Beauty. It's in the shade Buttercream and I have used this several times. It is so reflective and just beautiful. I feel like even in the video, you can see how glittery it is. It's not like a pressed glitter or anything. I shouldn't use the word glitter. It's like a shimmer. Oh, it's so nice. 
It's kind of like that super shock kind of texture. I have been really, really loving this. I know Kelly Goosh is obsessed with Space Cowboy from Urban Decay. I feel like this may be a dupe for it. Um, I don't have that. I'm just kind of basing off of the way it looks like on her. So I don't know, but I feel like it could be a dupe. If you happen to have both of these, be sure and let us know. There's like a little bit of flaking. That's the first time I've had that happen. Um, picking it up from the compact, but I was able to just sort of like blend it out onto my hand and then now I think it's good to go. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that this helped the look seem a lot nicer, like maybe it was a little bit more intentional than what I had intended it for it to be. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera. I'm gonna use my Milani Weekend Brow and my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, and then I will be right back. I really liked part one of this video so far more than part two, like the products I was trying. This kind of sucks. But I did pick up a mascara. I don't think I'm gonna use it today. I hope that you guys aren't mad, but I have so many mascaras open right now that I'm just like not sure if I wanna open this one. Let me, let me kind of like see what I got going on here. You know what? I'm going to open it because I really, I pile up mascara and I feel like I could actually use up the ones I have within six months because I typically actually throw away my mascaras after three months because they're empty, but you can use a mascara for six months. So I feel like I could definitely use these within six months. And also this one is like closer to being empty because it's a mini and I've used it a lot already. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I feel okay doing that. So anyways, this is called the Catrice Glam and Doll Easy Wash Off Power Hold Volume Mascara. This is a tubing mascara. It's in the shade Ultra Black and it says 24 hour on, easy off. So if you're not familiar with the tubing mascara, what a tubing mascara is, is a mascara that goes on your lashes and creates little like tubular shapes across each individual eyelash. And then it's removable with warm water. So with warm water, you want to be gentle, but with your fingertips, you should be able to just kind of like rub it with the warm water. In my experience with some other ones, and it just kind of like comes off. It looks like almost like in flakes. It's not your eyelashes falling out, or at least it shouldn't be. Don't be very rough like pulling it off, but it should kind of like come off very easily in little pieces or clumps almost. And those are the tubes like coming off of your eyelash. So tubing mascara can be really beneficial to people, and I know a lot of people prefer them. So this is actually something that I'm really excited to try. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. That is the one thing is like, if you fall in love with a mascara from a company, it's like, you're gonna probably want to repurchase it. But from this particular company, they're like not that easy accessible. So I don't know, or easily accessible. But anyways, here's what the wand looks like. It's like a rubber bristle wand. Can you see it? Let's try. So this has more of like a rubber bristle why will it not focus on this? Like it literally just refuses to focus on this. But it has a rubber bristle wand and it's a little bit more spiky. I don't know why, but my camera is like refusing. There it goes, to focus on it. So hopefully that will help you guys to see what it looks like. But I'm just going to kind of pile this on and see how it does. I feel like this actually looks really nice so far. I'm gonna let it dry for like half of a second and then go ahead and add some more Okay, so here's the after of the mascara or what I would consider the after, like building it up a lot. I think it looks really nice. So you guys can probably see like how I can go through mascara a little bit faster because yeah, I like mascara. So last thing is lip products. And I did actually pick up three Catrice lip products. So we'll definitely use some Catrice for this. And I picked up Sparkling Guave and also Sweet Cherry in their powerful lip care, like five lip care line. And I want to try one of these and then depending on how I like it, I'll decide if I want to keep the second shade or if I want to give it to someone. And then I also really was excited to pick this one up. This is the glossy lip oil, the powerful glossy lip oil. I got this one in the shade, what is it called? This one is in the shade glossy blackberry. I kind of want to try this first because I want to see what it looks like on its own. It smells really nice. I actually really like when my lip products smell because I feel like it's like the one area of makeup when I actually really like for it to have a fragrance. Ooh, I really like this. 
I think that's really nice. I like the nice little tint to it. It's nothing too crazy, but it's also not a clear gloss. I wanted something with some color. It doesn't stick at all, in my opinion, but it does feel like an oil. Like, it definitely doesn't feel a normal lip gloss, I guess. I really like this so far. I'm happy with that color. And then I want to try the lipstick. I feel like that also left a nice little stain to lips. I think Sparkling Guava is the one that I was the most excited to try. So I'm going to try that one first. This says that it is the Powerful 5 Lip Care. It has Hyaluron, Watermelon, Goji Berry, Cucumber, and Ginger Root in it. So it's supposed to be really hydrating and good for your lips. This packaging is actually similar to that Almay lipstick that you guys know that I love with kind of like the cardboard top to it. I'm not sure about this one, you guys. I don't like the way it smells. It kind of smells like makeup. That's a little bit of a letdown. I think this shade is actually pretty unique to what I have in my collection. It's a little bit more of like a corally sort of pink. Like it has like just the smallest hint of coral to it. But I do think I'm going to go ahead and try on the other color. I wasn't sure if I wanted to or not, but I do think that I want to. So let's go ahead and try on Sweet Cherry. This is actually a really nice color. I'm not sure how much use I would get out of this one. So I actually might end up giving this one to my grandma because I feel like this shade would look really cute on her, but I think it's pretty. I will say between all of the lip products, the lip oil seems to be my favorite. So I think I'm gonna take this off and put that back on. I also really like the doe foot on this lip oil. I think it's a really nice shape. And the packaging on this is also really nice as well. So I'm very impressed with this. Not 100% sold on the other ones. I think that they're nice, but I've got plenty of lipsticks in my collection, so I'm just not sure that they were necessary. Here are all of them swatched. So this is the lip oil. Again, this is in the shade Glossy Blackberry. And then here we had Sparkling Guave and Sweet Cherry. All right, you guys, that is it for this part two of trying a lot of new makeup. I will say that I'm a little bit let down by several of the products that I tried in this video. I love this highlight. This has got to be like a standout for me. So let's see. Out of everything we tried today, I would say... I think out of everything, these four are going to be my favorites. So we have the highlight from Catrice as well as the tubing mascara and the lip oil. I would say definitely the two of these over the mascara just because this is like a real first impressions. These are two, but these are more of like a standard, like the formula is not going to change. Whereas this formula is probably going to change in the next week or so of using it. But I do really like that mascara and I am excited to see if it helps the longevity and like the transferness of the other one. I also really love this product from Ulta. This is that Bounce Eyeshadow in Buttercream. I think these are nice. Um, I'm not like over the moon about them or anything like that. I really didn't like this shade on myself. It's actually kind of similar to the lip oil, but for some reason I just like the formula of the lip oil better for that kind of color. So not really sold on this in particular, but I do think it's pretty. It's just like a preference thing. I just don't think I'll wear that shade a lot, but I do think I'll get some use out of this one. I feel like it's actually pretty unique to my collection being a little bit more coral, but you can see, yeah, these shades are actually really similar. I just like that kind of like glossy finish of the lip oil better. So as far as this brush goes, I think it's a no for me. I feel like it really sucked up way too much of the product. You can probably see like the darker part here, but even when it wasn't when I like pumped the product into the middle part, um, it didn't have as much coverage on the side of my face. And I think I used pretty equal sides or amounts on either side. Also, I think these are both no's for me. Honestly, I'm kind of considering, I'm probably gonna return this. I don't typically return makeup, but when it's not a preference thing and it's the actual product, I don't really have a problem returning it. So to be honest with you, I'm probably returning this, even though it was only $5, like I just, it broke. So I don't know, I'm, I'm not happy about that. I'm not so sure about this one though, because like I said, the longevity is really good, but it just like doesn't even go on the eyelids. So honestly, I'm just not really sure if I'm going to keep this or not either, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it, you know, it's okay. It could be worse. I believe that is my final thoughts on everything that we tried brand new today in this video. If you wanted to know anything about the other new products, like the bronzer or the powder or anything like that, check out part one to this video because I did talk about my thoughts in that video. Also, let me know down below what you think. Can you tell like an obvious difference between one side of my face and the other? I don't feel like I can. Um, I'm just not really sure like what I'm going to do about that. With that being said, I know this was a super long video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.